Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to create a lead assignment rule in Salesforce. So let's begin by understanding what is lead assignment rule in Salesforce. So the lead assignment is the process of assigning a new lead to a specific sales representative or a team in our organization. By using it, we can ensure that each and every lead is controlled by most appropriate person which increase the chance of a successful transformation of the lead and in salesforce to set up a lead assignment we will need to define our assignment rule and a criteria so let's big move ahead and learn to create a lead assignment rule in salesforce lightning component first so here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in a Lightning Edition. If you are in a Classic Edition, firstly swift to the Lightning component. So let's proceed and learn. So firstly you have to go to this quick find search box and here, here you have to type assignment rules. And here you will get an option of a lead assignment under the marketing lead assignment rules so click on it it will redirect you to the setup of a lead assignment rules and here you will get a button of a new so we want to create a new lead assignment rule so we have to click on it and here it asks you to enter the rule name so here you have to enter the rule name so here i enter it as priority okay and if you want to make this rule active you have to click on this active checkbox and by activating this rule will automatically deactivate the current lead assignment rule as at one time only one rule is activated so i click on it and click on a save button then it redirects back to the lead assignment rule and it shows you all the rules that you have created okay so here we have a four rules and here I want to create a rule criteria for the priority as I create a rule with the name priority. So I click on it. Now you have to click on new to create a multiple rule entries under this rule. So here I click it redirect to the rule entry of the priority. So now you have to set the order okay so here i want to set it as one then you have to specify the criteria for the rule entry and by defining it it will trigger when you call the assignment rule as per the order so here i click on it and here i set as a lead country equals to and here i don't have any lookup so you have to enter the value manually so i add usa okay then scroll down and here we have to define the actions that we want to take on when a lead meet the above defined criteria so it includes like assigning of a lead to a specific sales representative or a team or a sending of an email so from here i select the user and from this lookup you will get the list of user so here I select this one and it shows you don't re-sign owner okay and here if you want to email it you can also select the email template and after finalizing all the things you have to click on a save so it will show an error message assignee does not have a permission to view a lead so for this I again click on the lookup From here I select the another user and here I click on save and now it's successfully saved. So if you want to define more criteria rules click on this new button and fill up all the details again like suppose I want to create another and I set its order to 2 and this time I set that uh, like lead rating and operator I set to less than or here I set the value for this here I have a lookup so I set as a hot and I click on it 
so here again I have assign a user to it okay and then after creating it I successfully click on this save button to save it so now you can see that it create a two rules under this priority lead assignment rule case so with this we have successfully learned how to create a lead assignment rule in Salesforce Lightning. So now we will move ahead and learn to create the lead assignment rule for a classic edition also. So for classic edition, firstly we have to shift to the classic edition. Here I click on my profile and here I get an option of a switch to a Salesforce Classic. So I click on it and it will redirect to the Salesforce Classic. So from here I have to firstly click on this setup located on a right side of a screen on above and uh, then you have to click on a build section here it is and here we have a option of a customize click on it then scroll down and here you will get option of a leads click on this leads drop down and here we have option of a lead assignment rules now we are on a lead assignment rule page and as we want to create a new we have to click on this new button now we have to enter the rule name so here i enter the rule name as a country for example and if you want to activate it click on this rule only one rule is activate at a moment so if you activate this one the previous activated lead assignment rule get disabled and click on the save button so it will show you the list of all the lead assignments rules and from here i have select the country that one i have created now now we have to set the rule entry for this i click on a new and from here you have to set the order similarly as we have followed this step in a lightning edition 2 and from the field you have to select so here from this time i select the camping and here I select the status walls 2 and from the lookup here I get a Shinofu registered so I select this one and I assign this to the user this one if you want to add an email template you can add it otherwise click on the save if you want to create one more then again click on this new define the set order select the field and here I select it as a camping user language and equals not equals to finish okay and here i click on the insert and then i again sign it to the user and from here i select the user again so this one is the action that we want to take when the rule criteria is met so i click on the save button again and here you can see that it create two rule criteria in a country lead assignment rule that we have created using a salesforce classic component so with this we have learned to create a lead assignment rule in salesforce classic also so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day